it is working, which corresponds to the circular convolution. As well as we have seen some of the example where we have identified the circular convolution directly, and then by using the multiplication of two DFTs property. So in today's session, we will be discussing two more properties of DFT. First one is the time reversal of a sequence, and second one is the circular time shift of a sequence. So first we'll see time reversal of a sequence. So as per this property, if there is a discrete time signal x of n with endpoint dft as we know that endpoint dft is indicated as x of k and the formula for that for n is equals to 0 to capital N minus 1 x of n into e to the power minus j 2 pi k n by capital N okay so as per time reversal property if we are reversing the time and considering it as periodic okay so that means it will be indicated as here the time has been reversed right but the same sequence will repeat after capital n period okay so it will be circular sequence right so this this particular uh, sequence is nothing but x of capital n minus n right or you can say that minus n plus n okay so it can be written as x of n minus n so as per the time reversal of a sequence property its endpoint dft will be the x of minus k and suffix n okay so that means your uh, discrete Fourier transform will be uh, again this k will be reversed right and again it is shifted by capital N so it will be simply capital N minus k right so this is what the time reversal of a sequence property so reversing the n point sequence okay that is reversing the n point sequence that is capital N point sequence in time domain is equivalent to reversing the dft values okay so uh, as time has been reversed so its dft values has been reversed right in the frequency domain okay so let's try to prove this property so we'll see its proof here so here we are interested in identifying the endpoint dft of the sequence x of capital n minus small n okay so we'll take the dft of x of capital n minus small n so as per the dft formula discrete fourier transform formula we can write small n is equals to zero <coughs> to n minus one simply at in the at place of this x of n we'll write x of capital n minus small n right into e to the power minus j 2 pi k n by capital n right so here we'll make some adjustment okay so if we change this index capital n minus n so where we'll substitute uh, simply here i will put capit uh, small n is equals to in place of n i'll substitute n is equals to capital n minus m right in place of this small n or you can alternately say that we change change here the index from small n to m okay but this m is nothing but if you 
identify here the value of m so it will be capital n minus small n okay so that means in place of capital n minus small n simply you are substituting small m okay so one and the same thing is there if you are substituting small n is equals to capital n minus m so it will be n minus n will be zero right and minus minus plus will be there so it will be simply x of m right so here i will rewrite this dft of x of n minus n where on the right hand side i have made these adjustments so in place of n i am using index small m okay so it will be simply written it will be written as small m is equals to 0 to n minus 1 because there won't be any uh, difference between these uh, summation limits right here x of m will be there right and i'm substituting n is equals to n minus m into e to the power minus j 2 pi k in place of n i'm substituting n minus m divided by capital n will be there right so again as per uh, i will just rewrite this equation on next slide right so here what we are interested in dft of x of capital n minus small n and as per the last equation we have summation m is equals to 0 to n minus 1 x of m e to the power minus j 2 pi k n minus m divided by n so this equation we have right so if you identify this equation as per the uh, what you can say the uh, discrete Fourier transform formula right uh, as as per the dft formula if i am taking if i am identifying the dft of x of m okay and point dft of x of m so it will be again indicated as x of k so this x of k will be summation small m is equals to 0 to n minus 1 x of m into e to the power minus j 2 pi m n e to the power minus j 2 pi as in place of n we had taken m and k will be as it is so it will be j 2 pi is the cursor of it j2 pi okay. okay i think okay let it be so it will be j2 pi k m by capital n will be there right so in place of small n we have taken small m okay the rest of the thing are similar as per the endpoint dft formula correct so if you compare it with this formula so basically uh, this in in place of m m is there so i can make certain adjustment here right so what i'll do i'll just uh, rewrite again this tft formula as x of capital n minus small n as summation n m is equals to 0 to n minus 1 right 
x of m will be as it is into e to the power this will be minus j minus j to 2 pi it will be m j 2 pi m here I can write capital N minus K so what I have done I have taken minus M outside the bracket and in place of minus M I have sent minus K inside the bracket right and uh, M I have taken outside minus M I have taken outside okay so divided by N so this is nothing but simply this this can be written as as you compare this particular formula with this one right so in place of k the value here it is capital n minus k so it will be simply capital x of n minus k right correct so uh, the rest of the variables are same as per this DFT formula where we are taking the index as small m right uh, in place of simply k here it is n minus k so this uh, DFT can be represented capital X of n minus k okay so this X of n minus k is nothing but what capital X of minus k so it is can be indicated as circular sequence with capital N as a period right so here it can be uh, seen that uh, this property has been proved right as per the time reversal of a sequence if we have discrete time signal x of n with n point dft as indicated here right and if we are uh, basically reversing the capital n point sequence okay in time domain then it's So let's discuss uh, second property that is circular time shift of a sequence. Okay. So as per this property again if we have discrete time signal x of n with n point dft denoted as x of k then if we are time shifting uh, shifting the time back some samples which is again a circular time shift then it would be indicated as x of n minus l and it is a circular right so again uh, this this sequence is nothing but simply your sequence which is uh, capital uh, sorry small n minus l plus n okay so this is nothing but capital n plus n minus l right so it will have a dft as per this property it will have n point dft which is denoted as the dft of original sequence as it is multiplied by e to the power minus j 2 pi k l by capital n right so this is nothing but the circular time shift of a sequence property so again we will try to prove this property right so again we are interested in identifying the dft of the sequence that is x of minus n sorry n minus l and suffix capital n 
so it will have dft as per the dft formula right small n is equals to 0 to n minus 1 x of n minus l in suffix capital n into e to the power minus j 2 pi 2 pi k n by capital n okay so this is as per the n point dft formula right so but uh, here we can as as uh, the, uh, here in the index of x uh, there are two different variables so we'll try to uh, divide uh, this range of variables okay into two different set of limits right so first where we'll uh, write it down here as summation n is equals to 0 to l minus 1 right x of n minus l in suffix n e to the power minus j 2 pi k n by capital n so if you are substituting these values if i am substituting n is equals to 0 so it will be minus l right 1 so 1 minus l right and last value of n l minus 1 so it will be l minus 1 minus l so <coughs> it will be simply uh, uh value value here will be minus one right so you will find that uh, these values will be there right as per uh, this equation so negative values will be there right and the remaining values that means from n is equals to the next value of this n will be after l minus one it will be l right in l plus one l plus two up to the last value was n minus 1 okay so the last value was n minus 1 so that we will be keeping and uh, here i will substitute value l right so that means if i am substituting value of n here starting from n is equals to l so it will be l minus l will be 0 right so it will start from the 0th index so uh, here the negative values will be there okay up to a minus 1 index and here starting from zero index all positive indexes will be there right so remaining things are the same that is n minus l in suffix n then e to the power minus j 2 pi k n by capital n okay so i'll just write rewrite this equation on next slide right So here, what we are trying to identify, we are trying to identify the DFT of sequence x of this uh, n minus l in suffix n, and we have made some adjustment. So those adjustment I am rewriting here, that is n is equals to that again zero to l minus one initially. So x of n minus l in suffix n e to the power minus j 2 pi k n by capital n there right plus summation it is for positive indexes right so summation n is equals to l2 n minus 1 so x of n minus l in suffix n e to the power minus j 2 pi k n by capital n is there right so now what we'll do as uh, in the previous property we have made some adjustment right so where we have substituted certain values correct so here also we'll try to substitute certain values okay but one by one we'll separate out because otherwise this equation will be uh, large enough so we'll take first term initially right so the first term is summation n is equals to 0 to l minus 1 it is x of n minus l and suffix n e to the power minus j 2 pi k n by capital n is there right so again as per this formula n is equals to 0 to l minus 1 
this this is nothing but uh, as it is a circular sequence so this is nothing but x of n plus n minus l right and e to the power minus j 2 pi k n by capital n is there right so again we can substitute here the value of n minus sorry n plus n minus l is equals to m right so this value will be substituted in here so that means if i am uh, computing the value of n so n will be m minus capital n plus l right so or you can say that this n is nothing but m minus capital n plus l is there right so these values we are substituting in this equation so in place of n if i'm substituting this value here so uh, here i will substitute in place of n m minus n plus l so out of that uh, minus n plus l if i'm saying on right hand side so it will be n minus l okay so these limits will be simply this small m is equals to n minus l will be there right and similarly here it will be shifted here that is n minus l will be uh, here right so it will be n minus l plus l minus 1 so minus n minus l plus l will be 0 and remaining value will be simply n minus 1 okay so it will be m is equals to n minus l up to n minus 1 okay so he, here it will be x of m because here uh, this value is replaced by small m and again here i will be making those adjustment so it will be 2 pi k in place of n if i am substituting this complete value right that is m minus n plus l okay so here it will be simply e to the power you will get minus j 2 pi k here it will be m plus l divided by n right so in similar manner if you write down the second part of this equation so it will be summation n is equals to l to n minus 1 x of n minus l in suffix n e to the power minus j 2 pi k n by capital n will be there right and after making similar sort of adjustment you will get simply small n basically it will get replaced with the m equation and the values for it will be simply it will be small m is equals to 0 right 2 and minus 1 minus l okay and x of m will be there e to the power minus j Two pi k m plus l divided by n will be there. So if you combine again these two parts, right? If you combine these two equations again, so you will get capital sorry summation m is equals to it will be starting from zero to it will be n minus one will be there. Okay, so here I can write the DFT what we are identifying that is x of uh, n minus l as a circular with circular shift right so if you combine those two equations so if you add these two equations so to you will get again and by combining their uh, limits so it will be m is equals to 0 to n minus 1 
x of m will be as it is right and e to the power minus j to pi k it will be e to the power minus j to pi k m plus l divided by n will be there okay so as these are uh, periodic signals so n m plus l uh, uh, this minus n will be again same it will be repeating so therefore we have taken only m plus l there right so if you observe this so again summation m is equals to 0 to n minus 1 x of m into e to the power minus j 2 pi k m by n multiplied by e to the power minus j 2 pi k l by n is there right so this is nothing but the formula for dft so you can replace it with capital x of so you can replace it with capital x of k multiplied by this e to the power minus j 2 pi k l by capital n will be as it is okay so this is the required proof of this property right so as per this property if there is a circular time shift okay in the time domain then the discrete Fourier transform will get multiplied by e to the power minus j2 pi kl by n so that means there is some changes in its phase right so here we have seen two properties that is time reversal of a sequence and second one is the circular time shift of a sequence and we have seen proof of both these properties okay so in next session we'll be discussing circular frequency shift property and the multiplication of two sequences property thank you for joining this session